Hey guys, Technomentary here with a video for you guys. Today in this video, we're going to show you guys how to set up your iPad Mini 2 in this process. It's pretty much a straightforward process, but we're going to walk you through all the important and the basic stuff that you need to get started. This video is for anyone that um, is new to iPad and everything you need to know about setting it up. And if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys are looking to upgrade your iPad, make sure you guys check out the link to them, the discounted newer iPads out there that Amazon is providing right now. So a couple of things here we want to do is, first thing, make sure your iPad is charged. If you know, once it's charged, you're going to want to go ahead and power it on. The power button is on the top right-hand corner. You're going to press it here till you see the apple logo once you see the apple logo your ipad mini is powering on and it's ready to be set up depending on um the charge level and whatnot it might take a minute or two to get started um once it gets started we can get through the whole setup process it's a pretty quick and easy process but there are some basics that you need to know in order to properly set up your ipad mini and it's really important to go through those basics pretty straightforward anyone should be able to do it with the method we're going to give you so what happens is the first thing you see here is this language um, selection pretty straightforward you want to select the language that you're looking to use your ipad mini on we're going to do english here and then you want to select your country and region this allows customization settings like the timer and language and all that good stuff so we're going to select our country united states and once you do that we're going to get to this quick start um menu here uh and then we're going to hit this setup manually option down below here all right so it looks like it just must have clicked the wrong button same thing you want to click set up manually and then you get to this screen where it says through the wi-fi network so to activate any ios device you need to connect to the internet in order to connect to the internet you're gonna have to use a wi-fi or if you don't have well the wi-fi available you can use itunes itunes is a free application apple provides that you can download from the apple's website if you google itunes download it's a simple install. You can install it any Mac, PC, uh, desktop that you have, and you can hook it up there, and it will walk you through the setup process. For our purposes, we're just going to use the Wi-Fi away. So here, we click on our Wi-Fi, demo Wi-Fi we have, and then, of course, enter your password for that Wi-Fi. And this will connect the iPad to the internet. Of course, you need internet to do pretty much anything on this iPad because it is a um, iPad that requires um, internet to do most of the application. And what this is doing right now, it's actually validating with the Apple server that this iPad doesn't have any account or anything attached to it. What would happen is if there was someone's account on it, it's going to ask you to put their email and password. That's how Apple protects from a theft and it's a security feature where if you buy it from someone or if you, if you found an ipad or something like that and try to reset it you really can't do it or the, the original person uh, knowing their email and password so the next step you see is data and privacy just the uh, information about apple's uh, feature about data and privacy all you're going to do is hit that continue you can always learn more about it but the next screen we get to is creating a passcode so it's important to create a passcode on your iPad because without a passcode, you know, there's no security. Anyone can kind of start using it unless you don't really care to. There's a couple options for a passcode. Usually you have the generic four uh, pin or you can select a six pin. You can select a custom numeric code or alphanumeric code depending on how much security you want. For our purposes, we're going to do a one, two, three, four. And you see, as you can see this, throws a message we're saying it's an easily guessable one that's because it is an easily guessed one you probably want something more secure something more complex where someone can just guess it but you do have to make sure that if it is complex that you do know and can remember that if you forget that you're gonna have to reset the ipad again and there's really no way to get in again so that's the thing the more security you get make sure that you know that passcode so we're gonna just do it anyways 
because this is just for our demo purposes. And once we have done that, it's gonna take us to this app and data. What this screen is for is that if you have or previously use um, Apple device and have an iCloud backup and you wanna move that backup on this data, you would select that option. You, If you had a backed up your old iPad to iTunes application that we mentioned, you could back it up from there by just plugging it into the computer. And then if you had an Android, you can also um, use this app. There's an Android app that allows you to move data from the Android to the iOS device. So you have to follow those steps. And then lastly, you have this option where you don't um, transfer any data and you just set it up new. We're going to select this option since we don't have a backup here to do it. But certainly you want to do those options if you're looking to do that. The next screen is the Apple ID. So with any Apple product, you're going to need an Apple ID. You can use the existing one. Um, you have to know the password, email and password. Or if you don't have one, you can create one for free. Why do you need an Apple ID? Well, Apple ID is required to do anything on iPad, like using, downloading apps, um, using the uh, iCloud, using Apple Music, iMessage, FaceTime, and all these other features that are built into uh, the Apple ID that is attached to any sort of iOS device. So for our purposes, we're just going to skip through that. Oh, you can always come back to the settings and set that up. And since I skipped it, Apple ID, it's saying why you need Apple ID that just we mentioned here. It's saying, do you want to reset it or create one for free? It's free to create if you don't have one or if you're looking to create a separate one. But it's very important if you create a new one that you know the email and the password that you use it because it's very crucial because it, once it's attached to sign out, you'll need to know the password again. We're just going to go ahead and set up later in the settings. Like I mentioned, you can come back in the settings and do that. So I'm going to click on that option. And then it's saying again, do you really not want to use it? Don't use. Uh, of course, you do want to use it to really get the most out of your iPad. The next thing we get to is terms and condition, all the legal stuff, bunch of stuff in here. You can have it send it to your mail. Uh, you have to do agree to move forward. So we're going to hit that agree on the right hand option. And then custom setting. So Apple built in these custom um, express settings for you already that Apple thinks is the best one. And you can always um, hit continue or customize it yourself. We're just going to, for the ease of this setup instruction, we're just going to hit continue. And then keeping your iPad up to date. So this message is saying that, hey, if you're looking, to, you know, with each iOS update and release that comes out for uh, all these updates such as feature, security improvement, you can choose to have it automatically download and install or you can do it manually each time it comes out. For our purposes, we're just going to hit uh, manually for now. Screen time, it's a report that just tells you how much time you're spending on the screen. If you like it, you can do it. If not, you can, you can also use the screen time feature as a parental control where you can set a timer of how long this iPad could be used if it's used by a child or someone like that. Oh, we're just going to hit continue here. App analytics. So app analytics helps, you know, app developers improve their app. If you choose this, it will send them any kind of logs or any analytics it can get. If there's an issue with it, send it to Apple or any developers on a specific app. I usually don't choose it because I don't want it to send data through the iPad. But, you know, if you like to share, you can. So we're just going to hit don't share here. And then quick access talks about how to swipe up to use the dock and then switching between apps. How you can swipe up and then you see your apps just like in that animation here. We're going to hit continue. Same thing. Quick access about control. Your control menu is from the top. That's what it, that is saying. So we're going to hit continue. And finally, we get to this welcome to iPad screen and we're going to hit get started. And there you have it. That's how you set up an uh, iPad. Uh, make sure that if you're looking to set up, uh, if you want to sign into your account here, you would sign in here and you're good to go. So hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for future tips and tricks for your iPad and iOS devices. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.